Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the AirBot Bumby S ESC. Now this is a 3 to 6 S ESC which takes 3 to 6 S LiPo. It's a 30 amp ESC which has I believe a 40 amp burst and it's rocking a BB2 chip which is BL Heli S and which can run DShot 600 and anything below that. Multi-shot, one-shot, all of those should work just fine. Now, taking a look at it, um, this is how it comes. It doesn't come with anything else, no wires, no nothing, um, no heatsink, but that's totally fine. Hopefully, it's going to perform. And it's a $14 ESC, so that's pretty good. And you can got you can actually get five pieces for $60, I think. Yeah, so they, they have a nice sale on the website if you buy five pieces. So that's always good. It's always good to have an extra. Um, now, looking at it, I just see one, two four capacitors we have and we have two tantalum capacitors and I think we have some kind of protection here so that's very good I mean it looks good it's very clean the solder joints are very good um, and that's all I can really say at the moment it just looks like a very good clean ESC so let's get started let's put on the bench and let's just get started Alright guys, so as you can see, I compared it with the iPika EFM 30 amp RGB LED just because they're kind of in the same price point category and they're both kind of the same uh, specifications really. So in voltage spike, the iPika EFM was a bit better, but not by much and they're both in the safe zone so it really doesn't really matter there that much. Uh, voltage drop is what I really like to concentrate on other than the noise. The voltage drop was 11.8 and on the iPico was 11.6 so it's 0.2 volts of a difference which is okay it's good it's just a minute difference but on four motors and four ESCs it does add up and um, it's just right on the bottom of the safe zone right there just a little bit off of actually the safe zone on the voltage drop both of them but they're both good I mean they're, they're good to, you know this is exactly what you're paying for you're actually getting it uh, noise they're both exactly the same in noise they're kind of noisy and kind of not noisy so they're pretty decent uh, there's nothing bad about them it's just uh, uh, this is kind of like the average uh, ESC level so it's nothing spectacular and it's nothing um, bad and it's just it's just good that's that's all I could really say. So they're they're good ESCs, both of these, especially the Bum BS, is a tiny bit better than the iPika EFM. And that's all I could really say. And that that's all I can say for this ESC. So it's a pretty good ESC, it's not bad if you got it. Uh, if anyone has any, uh, please let me know how these are for you, how they worked out for you. And just keep me updated. They seem very good. So um that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys. Take care.